plaintiff, Philip Williams, says the defendant is his cousin, and his nickname on the west side of Chicago is Freaky Lou because he tries to get with all the ladies. Philip is suing his cousin today for the balance due on a car. Defendant Lewis Barnes admits that he was with a lot of women back in his day, but he insists his life is now on the straight and narrow, and he's tried to be a positive role model for Philip. Lewis is countersuing because he claims Philip came to his home threatening to fight him. All right, this court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. All right, start with you. All right, Your Honor. This is my cousin, my cousin Lou. He's about 20 years older than me, you know. He's from the west side of Chicago. Um, I was talking about the west side today. Yeah, Go you ahead. ever been? Yeah, it reminds me of some parts of Detroit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he from the west side of Chicago, man. They, you might know this man. There's Freaky Lou out there on, on the west side of now Chicago. I don't know no freaks. <laughs> if I, I, know, if I know it when they getting money. They pimps. Oh, man. Don't know no tricks. All right, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go it's ahead. Freaky Lou right here, man. If you ain't never met him, man. So he's, he's you know, he's you tricking balling. off your money, freaking. No, no, I ain't, with them young I, girls. I, I ain't tricking off nothing. Like, yeah, that's what you what like. you his, I bet he on fixed income, giving them your pension. No, you I don't. At the I, I, I all your drop, life. Your Honor, every I, single drop. Yeah, you done worked <laughs> at the factory all your life. Now you retire, you gonna give all, trick all your money off of them. I got, I got too many kids for that. That's why, that's why you <laughs> got too many kids. You've been doing too much tricking. Yeah. Go ahead. All things said about this side. man. You didn't embarrass the game on the West Side. I am the West Side. Yeah, right. Do no, do. you're not. Do I know do. the West Side, and you're not the West Side. <laughs> man, he had braids to the back of his head, straight backs. I don't even know if they was reaching his shoulders. Mm. <laughs> man had his shirt in his mouth, trying to wind it up in the club, trying to be in all the female faces. That's Freaky Lou. That's 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 the man, the Mr. Legend right there. Yeah, right. But he's, I ain't gonna he's lie. Truly a legend. <laughs> right? Go I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Like all things said about this man, like I really got to know him as him um, yeah. from myself. How long? What age you all start associating? I know you as cousin. How old were you when you guys? I'm about twenty, about 20, 20. 25 ish, okay. give or take. Yeah. He, uh, my how father. Long has that been now. About three years. A couple of years. Okay. And I'm about to be twenty. I'm about food. to be twenty-eight this year. Good relationship. He's giving you some wisdom. Yes, sir. All right. Good. Well, now. wisdom in in, in in a way like we connect on another level. You know what I'm saying? Of, of as far as like me ever having like a um, positive influence in my life. Right. Or or someone I could really genuinely like connect to. Mm-hmm. Um. He he's been that. Uh. Well, we had our little bump in the road, but you know, it's been that. It's called a mentor. Yeah, yeah a, something like that, yeah. He's a mentor. Right. If he and, takes you under his wing, taking a young man under your wing, sharing the life experiences and trying to be a positive influence in his life, that's what a mentor does. So thank you for that. No doubt. And telling the young sure. man, because he seemed well-adjusted, uh, don't seem like a street guy, probably had that influence, and you probably steered him in the right way, because I can tell you used to be a street guy. Tell the truth. Plead the fifth. See? All right. Thanks, brother, <laughs> for doing that for the young man. Um, sir, and sir. so you all have gotten along. He give you some wisdom and direction. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. It, it, it's like on the day to day, how he is with his kids. Like, no, no, no cap. How he is with his kids. He real good. It, it almost make me sad in a way because like my daughter, she live in a whole nother state and I don't get to see her like that. And, you know, I get I get so depressed. I get so like so down, so stressed, you know what I'm saying? How old is she? My daughter, she three, she'll be four in July, July twentieth. How far does she live from me? Uh so I live in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Now she lives in uh Kentucky, Louisville, Kentucky. How long does it take to get there, to drive there? Well, they used to live in Columbus, Indiana. So that was like a ten and a half hour drive. Now it's probably like a nine and a half hour drive. Is it that far? Yes, sir. Well, how about the Greyhound? The Grey who? Greyhound bus <laughs> to see your daughter. <laughs> what you laughing at? If you don't want to, you have a car to drive? Yes, sir, I so do. So why have won't a... you drive then? I, I, I do drive. I do drive. Oh. I, I probably, uh, I used to go every other month 
before All things right. uh, for okay. life. You know, what I'm, right. I'm just trying to help y'all yes, with sir. some ideas because uh, I'm so glad to hear that you're concerned. There's a stereotype. The street guys don't care about their kids, but they love their kids and want to be with their kids. He just gave you a great compliment. He said you're a that. big part of your children's life. How many That's children right. you have? I have six. Six, and you're a part of their lives. That's yes, a sir. Compliment. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Now all you got to do is give them that money. <laughs> you ain't got no I'll money for no now, that's six another kids. That's another I know story. it is. You don't have no money for no six kids. But I um, thought about that. <laughs> Go ahead, though. It really, like, you know, like I was saying, it really makes me depressed. It really makes me stressed. It depresses me to a point, you know what I'm saying, I can only be so active being so far. You know, I, I want to be as close as possible, but I'm comfortable where I'm at. Do you think she's going to be there permanently? Yeah, they 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 settled. They comfortable. They 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 real good. They why they won't you move that in? I'm just I've been where I'm at since 2019. I haven't really been anywhere else because I've been still been trying to find my foot in. You should try and get yourself together and make that part of. Yes, sir. That, and that's that's one thing I was going to ask you about. I was going I was going to see you know what I'm saying because I'm I'm really wanted to like get into therapy. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get into I wanted to find like a positive influence to steer me the right way to put me on a path to. You've come Greatness. to the right place. Yes, sir. You've come to the right place. Yes, sir. You're going to make sure you get what you need. You say you might, yeah, whether it's therapy and or an executive coach or a life coach that, or whatever, oh, yes. Yes, sir. that will help you. We're going to get that for you. I'm so glad to hear that you're concerned. There's a stereotype. The street guys don't care about their kids, but they love their kids and want to be with their kids. He just gave you a great compliment. He said you're a that. big part of your children's life. How many That's children you have? I have six. Six, and you're a part of their lives. That's yes, sir. A compliment. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Plaintiff Philip Williams is suing his cousin, who claims Philip came to his home and threatened to fight him in front of his wife and children. Man, I'm so uh, pleased with you guys and impressed with you guys, knowing that you dealt with some tough, tough obstacles in life, particularly you on that west side. So, yeah, congratulations. And let me tell you this. I turned down a lot of opportunity for the love of my kids. That was the happiest 15 years of my life. After 15, your kids don't want nothing to do with you no more. You, you're scared, they ain't want to be you an embarrassment, so you forget about that. Get there before she's 15. Yes, sir. Because <laughs> it's the best part of my life. I turned down a lot. In fact, I had been uh, nominated for the presidency of uh, Dr. King's organization, uh, wow. Southern Christian Leadership Conference, to replace his son, Martin Luther King III. Mm. And what it boiled down to, I had to do the math because you got to travel around the country dealing with civil rights issues. You got to go speak at dinners even outside of the civil rights. Issues. You got 1,200 chapters around the country. They all want you to come speak. Then you got the actual meetings with the corporate leaders. I would have been doing all that and I did the numbers. I would send my kids 60 days a year. Wow. So I had to choose between people I don't know to help and lead. Well, my children, Dr. King chose, man, it did a lot for us, but I'm not willing to make that sacrifice. So I say to you, my sacrifice of one of my career ambitions, running for mayor of Detroit. Before I came to television, I was preparing to run for mayor of Detroit. And I had all the support I needed, but I had an opportunity to provide a lot for my family. So I took that. Mayor of Detroit was probably my, I had two ambitions when I was in college. I know I talk about myself a lot, but I'm trying to convey wisdom and an example and inspiration. But I had two aspirations, one or the other. I said, I either want to be the president of a major civil rights organization or mayor of Detroit. Hmm. Those are my two goals. I had no goal of being on television. Those are my goals. And quite frankly, if it wasn't for my children right now, that's what I would be doing. So it's sacrifice for what you love. And if you are feeling like that, then do that. Yes. All right? Yes, sir. Prepare and move down there. I had a buddy that lives in Atlanta. Guess what? He's moving to the, back to Detroit to be with his grandkids because I told him how great it was.
I said, man, get back to that. Those grandkids be right there with them. And sure enough, he did. And he thanked me. Hmm. All right. Yes, OK. Sir. I know we got way off path, but you need some direction. Yes, and sir. I'm giving you as much as I can. Yes, and what do you want to tell me over there, Mr. Lewis? Well, uh, as a uh, bunch of life. Uh, well, as Pete said. How you go from pimp to trick? That's a hard <laughs> thing to do. No, but no. I no tell trick. you guys, you had a little pimp in. You didn't want from pimp to trick. Go ahead. I ain't no pimp in. I'm go ahead. Like, I'm an old school player, you know? Not a pimp. Just a player. Good. You know? I mean, Pete, good guy. You know, he look up to me. So, you know, I try to lace his shoes, pull his coattail, you know? Got Crazy. him down. Mm -hmm. Got him down the right way, you know. I mean, like you said, P not a street guy. You know what I'm saying? Is he a hustler though? No, nah, I wouldn't say a hustler. No, nah, when I don't... mean hustler, I'm saying assertive, aggressive about making taking care of his business. I mean, he aggressive about getting his money. That's why we here now. Hustler. That's why we here now. He aggressive about getting his money. Well, well, he hustling you. <laughs> I mean, like you said, P not a street guy, you know what I'm saying? Is he a hustler though? No, nah, I wouldn't say a hustler. No, nah, when he I don't... mean hustler, I'm saying assertive, aggressive about making, taking care of his business. I mean, he aggressive about getting his money, that's why we well, here that's now. That's a hustler. Plaintiff Philip Williams is suing his cousin who claims Philip came to his home and threatened to fight him in front of his wife and children. Tell me what's happening here. See, <laughs> is it a legitimate lawsuit or are you hustling him? Uh, tell I'm, me what I've happened. been waiting to jump into that. Right, go ahead, <laughs> tell me what happened. So uh, back in 2019, when I first moved down to Fayetteville, North Carolina, um, I had I had uh, got an old 2010, um, not Ford, um, Chevy Impala, Navy Blue. And I was in that car for probably about six months until I had got a job at the hospital. And then I had started uh, getting some money flow and I had got a new car. The Nissan Citra was brand new. And his family had moved down here from uh, Indiana at the time. And they had needed a car to get around. So I had sold them my car for 3000 but he only had 1500 You know what I'm saying? So that, he, that's what he had. That's what I took. So between him and I, we, I told him, I said, I'm just going to write up a little promise to pay so we don't forget this moment we, that we have. You did that? Yes, sir. How much? Uh, 1500 Now, what page is that on? Uh, page two. All right. And so what has happened since that time? Um, Nothing. I haven't received anything since that time. Sir? What do you say? Uh, I mean, well, yeah, he. I did purchase the car from him 2019. Mm -hmm. And you when I- off all your money and when that's I not purchased can't pay him. <laughs> No, I ain't trick off nothing. You did. You say you're a player. That's I what a player a is. A player ain't nothing but a high level trick. <laughs> I got a lot of kids, y'all. Lord have mercy. And I, I, I mean, I know it. You just reminded me. You he got said, some "Kids, you can't." What, afford. what, what he said was, "Pay me when you get on your feet." I gave him ninety days, y'all. You know, he said, "Pay me when you get on your read. feet." I didn't Yarner. know Lou at the time. I don't want to insult you. Because uh, I know you can read, so you can't read. It says 90 days. Okay. Okay, Put well, signature. Well, I, I don't, I, honestly, I shouldn't owe him nothing. He owed me. <laughs> where's his, uh, where's his note? He, his note was when he came to, showed up at my house I knew unannounced. I knew <laughs> uh, coming out he, he owed, uh, Yana, he owed in my grill, cursing. Screaming to him out, he gonna beat my A. This was June of last year for my daughter's Shouldn't birthday. Have done it, but hopefully it's only about the money. Yeah, he was all right, screaming all about right. his money, disrespecting me in front of my like wife that. and kids. Lou Come had on, now we're hot head. You left and I, you ain't paid me my it, money within it, that last listen, little listen, few listen, months. Okay, okay. Don't 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 I wasn't on my feet yet. I understand that, but I wasn't on my feet either, bro. Man, I look. gave you, I gave you that when I, I needed that three thousand. Yeah, but I now I'm yeah, getting, now I'm talking about the disrespect, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. And that's wrong. I can't oh. say that I wouldn't tell him off uh, if I really needed my money and I thought he was playing me off. But it's wrong. You should do what you've done. Come to court 
And if you are going to check him, don't do it in front of his wife or woman and his children. That's disrespecting them. Yes, you sir. Know, that, so don't do that. I, I have some habits on respect as well. For example, I tell people stuff around others that I shouldn't. You know, people don't need to hear you telling somebody off. But I forget sometimes to say, come here, let me talk to you. It's just boom. Yes, sir. So I say that to say I'm not, you know, saying that you the devil. I'm just saying you need to find better yes, ways. Yes, sir. So go ahead. He ain't going to do that no more, all right? Hey, well, you say he ain't the devil, but he showed his spawn. <laughs> what? <laughs> spawn, meaning related to the boy. Uh, <laughs> Freaky Lou talking about somebody the devil. What did you call it? <laughs> meaning you need exorcism. Is that what you say? You need exorcism. Go. Freaky Lou. 1500 for the plane if you have no legal defense. Uh, and oh, what secondly, about, what about my camera suit? You don't have he, $500 dollars for what? How you owe you $500 for he what? He came to my house with all that ruckus. Ain't you Freaky Lou? Ain't you out here breaking hearts already? No, I'm married. How many hearts I'm you I'm married. How many I'm married, you sir. You owe, you owe a few I'm, I'm married, to sir. I'm married, sir. A few and what's your emotional sir. distress for? Him coming west to my side, house. West side, tough guy from the west side. Him coming to guy from the west side. <laughs> what's stressing you out? Him coming to my house with all that you got a tick. Is that what happened? No, oh, you go home at night. You go home at night in the corner. Okay. And curl up. <laughs> <laughs> and say, oh, oh, oh. How am I supposed to look? On the west side. Uh, I'm supposed to look in front of my wife. Doing, where they do that out on I'm the supposed to look side. in front of my wife. I'm here to the west side to campaign for a buddy of mine. <laughs> and you're going to be the topic of the conversation. I say, that... his young mentee got him curled up over in the corner. <laughs> he won't leave. Want $500 so he can escape. Do you want that to be said? No, all you got to do is ask thank about you. King Lou. Miss. Judgment for the plaintiff. Uh, have a good day. Our staff is going to hit with you on uh, helping. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Great. All right. We got it. We got it squared away. So we good, man. We good. Man, we ain't good because if you come we back good, to my, I got my house like that, how we get out here? You better 